Hi everybody, welcome to Mikey's Musings. Today we're going to be talking about some tips and tricks on sentry mode and dash cam. And this is specifically going to be covering how do you get to the 60 minute buffer when you didn't get any sentry mode clips or you forgot to press the dash cam button. And this is something that can be done if you've ever come back to your car and you've noticed that there's a new car parked next to you or the space next to you is now empty and it wasn't when you went into the store or something and you have no sentry mode clips if anything happens you might be tempted to think well nothing got recorded so there's nothing I can do about it but that's not really how the system works um, the system is recording constantly if you have sentry mode turned on or if you press your dash cam button it accesses a 60 minute buffer where all of the cameras um, that are available through the system recording feature um, are constantly running and using up the last 60 minutes as a buffer. So basically if you come back to your car and maybe something happened to the car behind you and you want to help the person out or something but you don't have a dash cam or a sentry mode clip or maybe by chance you did get a door ding or something happened to your car and no sentry mode clips were recorded um, you can still access that data if it's been less than an hour and I'm going to show you how to do that um, the system basically when a sentry mode event triggers the computer in your car will take a clip from that buffer that's already being recorded and save it in a different folder in a century folder um, so it's not really fair to say well I didn't get any sentry mode recordings because sentry and dash cam for that matter doesn't really record anything it's just a file management system where if you press dash cam it will take a section of the video that's already recorded and copy it into another folder into the dash cam folder if a sentry mode event occurs, it will take a chunk of that buffer and save it into another folder. So the two, sentry and dash cam, are not really recording anything. They're just managing that buffer. But we can still get to the buffer, and it could be useful. So let's set up a dumb little scenario here, and I'll show you. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my basketball behind the car and steal it. <laughs> This guy is going to steal it, but let's pretend it's my neighbor or somebody else. And we're going to come back and we're going to have no sentry mode recordings. And, you know, sentry mode doesn't record every time you have motion, which is what a lot of people think. So you might be tempted to come back and, you know, there was a car parked over here and now there's no car there. So you would think, well, I must have a sentry mode recording, but nothing got stored from sentry mode. And you're wondering, how could that happen? Well, there is some AI in the system, I believe. Um, so if nobody opened their door on that side and the car didn't get close enough to yours to cause any damage, it may not have saved anything, which helps because, you know, you're not going to get a ton of recordings. You know, every time a bird flies by, the thing goes off and it stores a clip from that buffer. You don't want that to happen. So there's some management going on there. But uh, let's go do our scenario and see what happens. All right, here I come back outside, and oh no, my basketball is gone. <laughs> okay, so let's get in the car. I'm recording on my phone, so the phone will unlock the car for me. And what have we got? We'll play this, wait for the, the dot to reach the little red button there. And look, here's some movement here. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I, I didn't even touch the car, I just ran my finger along it, knowing that, uh, you know, that's going to trigger it. By now, the basketball is gone, and, you know, that's the only, the only thing we have. It's the only sentry mode from today, if we go to all, uh, that's the only event that we have. In any case, um, you can see... If we go to all, we only have one recording here. If we go to century, we only have one recording. 
and the, the sentry mode shows when I came back out of the house and I ran my fingers down the side of the car didn't really even touch the car but I knew that would set it off so um, we can back this up a little bit and uh, let's look at rear here the basketball is still there so you can actually view it in the car because it's part of that sentry mode event once you close the dash cam viewer here you can see that the red dot is on and the camera is recording and that's that's 60 minute loop that I was talking about the cameras still recording so to dismount the camera and take the drive inside and look at it on my computer I'm just gonna press and hold right here and that once the red dot is out the drive is dismounted and now you can open the glove box but here's my uh, T5 SSD drive and we're gonna take it in the house and let's see what's on this all right inside on my computer now I've plugged in my SSD drive that was in the car let's go to the Tesla cam folder and there are some century clips in here by the folders by date and time um, you see that there's only one from today and that's the the century mode clip that we looked at um, there's uh, different camera views here there's front left repeater right repeater so you're going to get a bunch of files here um, uh, medium icons well, that doesn't help extra large here we go um, so it's going to have to be after this. It's going to be this one or this one. Basketball is in this one. So, you know, you may have to go through the clips, but at least you'll have it. And now if we look at this video from this folder. I can see the garage door going up there on the right side. And here comes the thief. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna take my basketball? There we go. I got you, you little rat. And off he goes. In the sentry mode folder, we only have one um, folder for today. And it only goes back to 1237. So you see 1237 right here, PM, little afternoon, 1237 PM to 12.47 p.m. So that 10 minutes got saved by vir virtue of the fact that I did that test and intentionally triggered sentry mode. If I hadn't intentionally triggered sentry mode, I would have gotten back to the car and there would have been no clips for today for sentry mode. And I would have had to go into the recent clips folder. But let me show you how to do that. So the furthest back in time we can go in the sentry mode is that 10 minutes, 12.37. But if we go into the recent clips folder, now we're accessing that hour long buffer that's in there. Now we can go back to 1220 when the car was still parked in the, in the garage. Um, let's say something happened around uh, 1225 or something. Um, and you know, one of my kids went outside to the garage to get something and I found a dent on my car and my daughter saying that my son did it. My son saying my daughter did it and I don't know what's going on. Well, none of these clips right here you can see in the car because this is part of that 60 minute buffer, but the files are still here. So if they did something at like 1225, here's 1225. I can see left repeater, right repeater at 1225 and this is not based on motion. This is just based on an hour. So if I find that something happened to my car and it's been less than an hour, I can go through these recent clips right here and see all the clips from the last hour. Now, keep in mind, if you go home and you park your car and you leave the drive in it and you come back the next day or something, you might be tempted to think, well, at home, I, I don't, I uh, have sentry mode on because I checked that little box to not use sentry mode when I'm at home. 
you'd be tempted to think, well, the last time I drove it was two days ago. I should have that hour. You're not going to have that hour. That's not the way it works. Um, the system, when it's running, makes sure that recent clips only contains the past hour, no matter when you look at it. Um, and if the car wasn't on, let's say you, you went out two days later, you turn the car on for 10 minutes, and then you take the drive out and go look at it. Well, you're only going to have 10 minutes worth of clips in here because um, once you turn the car on, it starts, you know, it starts maintenance on this folder here, and it'll take out everything that's over an hour old. So you're only going to get the 10 minutes from that day. So uh, keep that in mind too. But this is a way where if you come out of a store or something, something's happened to your car, something happened around your car, and you didn't get any sentry mode events, and you know, you're only in the store for 20 minutes or something, if you really need that footage, if it's important, um, do the long press on the recording button like I showed you, unmount the drive, and you know, if it's only a few minutes to get home, you can leave it on just in case something happens on the way home. Because, you know, that's the trade-off. If you take the drive out right then and there, and you get in into an accident on the way home, and your drive's not mounted or plugged in, then you're kind of screwed there. So, you know, do that at your own risk. But suffice it to say, if you really need the footage, and you know that it happened like 20 or 30 minutes or so ago, then just unmount the drive, unplug it, and then you'll be able to find the clip from when that happened in here, even though no sentry mode fired, no sentry mode event fired, and I didn't press the dash cam button. It's still going to be in here because this contains the last 60 minutes worth of clips unless sentry mode was triggered, and then the ones that involved that sentry mode event will be moved out of here. So... They're either going to be in your sentry clips like this. It moved these out of recent clips. So these are no longer in recent clips. They're in here instead in a specific sentry mode folder. Um, but they'll be either in your sentry mode folder or in recent clips. And these, like I said, you can't typically see these from the car. You have to take the drive and take a look at the clips that are in here and you'll see the clips from the previous 60 minutes that um, the drive was plugged in minus any that got moved out into the sentry mode clip folder. So if you get into an accident or something and, you know, in the heat of the moment, you forget to press the, the dash cam button to record it. And, you know, you realize 30 minutes after the accident, oh my God, I didn't press the dash cam button. Well, unmount your drive um, and take the drive out because since it since you remembered that you didn't you didn't save that dash cam footage to a, the dash cam folder within 30 minutes, you know the last hour is still in the recent clips folder on that drive. So just take the drive out, and uh, <clears throat> you'll have that. You can recover it by going into the recent clips folder later when you get home. Um, there is a way where this recent clips folder, like I said, some uh, maintenance is always happening in here where the system only keeps the last 60 minutes. So uh, there is a way that you can use recovery tools to undelete files that are older than 60 minutes. So there's even a possibility if it happened two or three hours ago, depending on the size of your drive and how it was deleted and the tools that you're using, you might be able to recover files that are not even shown here. Uh, but I'm not going to go into that in this video. Just be aware that, uh, you know, there's a possibility that you can get the footage back out of the recent clips folder. If you can undelete files with an undelete tool, uh, you could go back longer than 60 minutes and maybe undelete some files and get them back that way too. So hopefully this will help people. Um, it's a shame that Tesla has not made that buffer optional because I would love to see instead of a 
60 minute buffer. I have a 500 gig uh, T5 SSD drive in there. And that thing is so big, I would rather have a slider or some kind of selection where I can say, I want a 10 hour buffer instead of a one hour buffer. And then the last 10 hours will be in here. And that would really help. That would make it work more like a traditional dash cam. Um, there's really no reason to limit it to only 60 minutes when you have a big 500 gig or one terabyte SSD drive in there. I think that should be selectable, but right now it's not. You only get the last hour. So that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and this helps you out at some point. Um, just be aware that this is something you can do and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.